Sadly, Fat Knob, you piece of shit, I'll have you know I graduated at the top of my class in the Navy Sea Horses and I've been involved in numerous secret raids on El Rafflica. Fucking shit.
Please report flood waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or... Oh, shit. Um... I think WMNC is in the process of taking an absolute shit. No music.
safe to do so. Please report flood waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag NWSGST. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names, and other landmarks. The National Weather Service in Greenville Spartanburg has issued a flag. So, guys. About WMNC. After further analysis, it looks like they are not taking a shit, like I said earlier. It's something far more creepy and serious than that. Allow me to explain. Allow me to explain. If I may. Whenever a station is in a dangerous situation weather-wise, whether it be a tornado, severe thunderstorm, like from lightning strikes or whatever, or flash flooding like what's happening right now, they will most likely go into emergency programming. Well, that's exactly what's happening right now. They're not off the air. Oh no. If they were, they wouldn't have relayed that FFW for Catawba. WMNC, and this is a first for me. This is the first time I've ever seen this happen, but WMNC, the big dog, is under emergency programming. They're not playing any music. They're not off the air. They are just relaying these alerts as they come in. They left their digital NDEC up and running while they evacuated the studio. I do not know when this happened, but it happened. And right now, WMNC is not playing any music whatsoever. What they're doing is they're in emergency programming. This is an absolute first for me. It is creepy as shit. I am freaked out. I have no idea when they're going to come back on, but all I can do is wait to see if there are any more warnings. What fun! Yeah. 
deaths occur in vehicles. Do not attempt to cross water-covered roadways, bridges, or low-level crossings. Only a few inches of rapidly flowing water can carry away your vehicle. It is not worth the risk. Please turn around, don't drown. When it is safe to do so, please report flood waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using the hashtag NWGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names, and other landlines. 92.1, the volume's on. It's all the way up. I didn't even turn it on. I had it on already. Emergency programming right here. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a flash flood warning for Western Alexander County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southeastern Caldwell County in Western North Carolina until 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5.33 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar a series of heavy rain producing showers and thunderstorms moving northward along the Caldwell and Alexander County border. These showers were producing rainfall at rates in excess of two inches per hour, and this was falling on locations that have already received several inches of rain in the past 24 hours. Flash flooding may develop very quickly in this area. Some locations that will experience flooding include Bethlehem, Cedar Rock, Lake Hickory, North Lakes, Kings Creek, Little River in Alexander County, Ellendale, and Granite Falls. Flooding is most likely along tributaries that feed the Catawba River, as well as along Upper Little River, Middle Little River, Isaac Creek, and Rock Creek. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Do not attempt to cross water-covered roadways, bridges, or low-level crossings. Only a few inches of rapidly flowing water can carry away your vehicle. It is not worth the risk. Please turn around. Don't drown. When it is safe to do so, please report flood waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names, and other landmarks. And you hear absolutely nothing after that. How creepy. How much, how much more creepier can this get? Oh. Flash flood warning for more. WWF 60s relaying that, but. How much more creepy can this possibly fucking get? right now. How much more creepy can this get? Look. There's nothing playing. Not a damn thing. Page or via Twitter using dash Holy balls. I forgot this was on. And this. Oh my god. This is insane. Oh, the sun's coming up. Oh, shite. I officially pulled an all-nighter. What is wrong with me? Oh, it's not me. I can't sleep because of GSP being a dick. But no, the sun's coming up. I can see it already. Oh, God. Ugh.
affecting locations that have received several inches of rain over the past 12 hours. Flooding is ongoing across the northern part of Catawba County, and additional flooding will be developing through the morning. Some locations that will experience flooding include Hickory, St. Stephens, Conover, Longview, Oxford, Lake Hickory, Claremont, and Mountain View. County officials report recent road closures in the St. Stephens section of Hickory, as well as the Longview Park Road near Snow Creek. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Do not attempt to cross water-covered roadways, bridges, or low-level crossings. Only a few inches of rapidly flowing water can carry away your vehicle. It is not worth the risk. Please turn around. Don't drown. Only when it is safe to do so. Please report flood waters or land flights flowing over roads or clearing properties to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8100. Please report flood water or land flights flowing over roads or clearing properties to the National Weather Service by calling your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including the places, nearby cross street, streaming news, and other landmarks. These are the seven eight. County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Western Alexander County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Caldwell County in Western North Carolina, Southeastern Avery County in Western North Carolina, Burke County in Western North Carolina, until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 10.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicates heavy rainfall has ended for the time being. However, numerous showers are developing across the area, producing additional scattered light to moderate rainfall. While these showers are not intense enough to create new flooding at this time, they will help to maintain elevated runoff and stream levels and prevent conditions from significantly improving into the early afternoon. Furthermore, Catawba County Emergency Management indicates that some roadways are still flooded in western Catawba County generally along and north of North Carolina 10. Therefore, the previous flood warnings have been merged into a larger flood warning encompassing the areas hardest hit by heavy rain and flooding over the past two days. Catawba and Alexander County officials report several roads still closed due to flood waters. Road closures are especially concentrated in the St. Stephens and Bethlehem communities. Flooding is also impacting areas of Morganton, including the Catawba River Greenway and May Threaten Homes and businesses along the Catawba River round and downstream of Morganton. Road closures are likely to persist for the next several hours as it will take many hours if not days for flood waters to fully recede. Please stay off flooded roadways and obey all barricades and evacuation orders for your safety. Additional heavy rain may develop later this morning into the afternoon. Given the soil saturation across the Unifor area, any additional heavy rain will cause new flooding to develop. Please stay weather aware today and be prepared to seek higher ground should new flash flood warnings be necessary. The lower Little River near Ellendale is above act. This is a river flood product for the following county, Gaston, North Carolina. The National the South Fork, Catawba River at Lowell. From this morning to Tuesday afternoon, where until the morning is canceled. At 4.45 a.m. Sunday, the stage was 9.2 feet and minor flood stage is 10.0 feet. Minor flooding is forecast. Forecast. The river will rise above minor flood stage by this morning and continue to rise to near 12.0 feet by early Monday morning. The river will fall below minor flood stage by early Tuesday morning. Impact. At 12.0 feet, minor flooding continues. South Fork, Catawba River flood waters may approach the Cramerton Fire Department building at the intersection 8th Avenue and 9th St. The parking lot behind the adjacent Cramerton Drug Company may be flooded. Flood waters may approach one home along Riverside Drive. In Cramerton, impacts may be similar to those associated with flooding on February 6, 2010. Impact at 11.0 feet, minor flood stage continues. The South Fork, Catawba River may begin to flood Riverside Drive. Between 5th and 6th Streets in Cramerton, flood waters may also approach homes along Catawba Run Road. Near the Strandosh, Hoyle Creek flood waters, possibly due to backwater effects from the South Fork, Catawba River, may begin to impact the old River School Road Bridge near Sandcastle Road. 
Flood waters may be inundate parts of Lakeview Drive. In parking areas adjacent to far yards in the cabin door. Impact at 10.0 feet, minor flood stage. South Fork Catawba River flood waters begin to inundate Goat Island Park. Flood waters will approach Riverside Drive near 5th and 6th Streets in Cramerton. Flood waters may be approaching Lakeview Drive. Adjacent to far yards in Macadendo. Do not drive cars through flooded areas. Remember, nighttime makes it difficult to recognize flooded areas. The latest stages and forecasts for rivers can be found on our webpage at http colon slash slash water dot weather dot gov slash ahps2 slash index dot pht question mark wfo equal gsp please report high water flooding and landslide
Quiet again. Hear that?
locations that may experience additional flooding include Lenore, Cape Wall, Cajun Mountain, Blowing Rock in Caldwell County, Cedar Rock, Grandfather Mountain State Park, Table Rock, Edgemont, Colensio, and Patterson. They're not in emergency programming anymore. Oh wait, I forgot. The fucking audio's quiet again, so you can't hear jack shit through the frequency. So what's the absolute point? They need to fix that shit quickly.
God, no flipping way. Did you hear that? Did you freaking hear that? That was a K-Love station out of Columbia. That was WMHK 89.7! Thank you, 996. <laughs> Some 
along the canyon of the Catawba River, northeast of Rock Hill. Flooding will likely develop through a long Herring Ferry Road below Cherry Road Highway 21. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Do not attempt to cross water-covered roadways, bridges, or low-level crossings. Only a few inches of rapidly flowing water can carry away your vehicle. It is not worth the risk. Please turn around. Don't drown.